The select committee investigating the events of January 6th has now issued a subpoena to Sean Hannity, Fox News host, wanting him to come on down and talk to him about exactly what kind of communications he had with Donald Trump on the day of the riot. Now we know based on text messages turned over from Mark Meadows, Donald Trump's then chief of staff, that Hannity was one of at least three Fox news hosts who personally reached out trying to get the then president to do something to stop the Capitol rioters. In fact, according to reports, the, uh, 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 Hannity said, can he Trump make a statement, ask people to leave the Capitol? Pretty innocuous enough, right? That's what Hannity sent to, uh, Meadows just, Hey, uh, maybe say something, you know, may maybe ask these people to leave. So that text has apparently given the committee enough cause to think that maybe Hannity's somebody they need to talk to. Now it's not exactly clear what the committee wants to get out of Sean Hannity. Sean Hannity was not at the Capitol. You know, I, I gotta admit, I'm a little baffled by this. <laughs> I'm not saying I have a problem with it at all, trust me. But what is the ultimate goal here? What are you thinking that Sean Hannity is going to give you that is going to aid in an investigation and not just give a bunch of fodder to Republicans trying to say this is a witch hunt? See folks, there's the problem. If Sean Hannity has relevant information to this investigation, then absolutely come on down, sit, have a talk with us. Tell us everything, you know, if they're trying to embarrass him, and I'm not saying they are, but I also can't say they're not, then yeah, you're fueling the Republican narrative that this committee is in fact a witch hunt. So I don't know how I feel about this. Yes. I would love for Sean Hannity to get taken down by this, by to somehow be involved. I just, it's not there. It's not even that I don't think it's there. It's that it's not there. So everybody can be excited about this. I've got serious reservations about it, but I will say this, the legal argument that we have already seen from Donald Trump's lawyer, Jay, uh, not Donald Trump, Sean Hannity's lawyer, Jay Seculo is absolutely idiotic because Seculo, when asked by Axios, Hey, you know, what about this request from the committee? Uh, he said this, he said, if true, any such request would raise serious constitutional issues, including first amendment concerns regarding freedom of the press. No, it wouldn't. Okay. I may not completely be in line with what the committee is doing, but I do know for a fact it's not a first amendment issue. This isn't a freedom of the press issue. Sean Hannity wasn't reaching out to Mark Meadows as a reporter trying to get an inside scoop. He was reaching out as a personal friend of Donald Trump, trying to give him advice. So even if the committee were doing this purely for politics, the argument put forth already by Sean Hannity's lawyer shows that they're not going to win this. That is a very stupid argument. And I don't know what it is because I've talked about this repeatedly with Donald Trump and his lawyers making the dumbest arguments possible. Mike Lindell's lawyers making the dumbest arguments possible. Now here is Sean Hannity's lawyer acting like he never even went to law school with such an obviously false statement. Why do Republicans always seek out the worst possible lawyers in America? You know, Re reach out to me guys. I can give you the names of some good folks. Trust me. None of them would actually represent you because they're actually decent people, but still there's good lawyers out there. You guys just actively work to not find them. So that's a little bit mind blowing to me. I hope Sean Hannity does comply with the committee's request. Pretty obvious. He's going to try to fight it on stupid grounds. It's not a first amendment issue. It's not a freedom of the press issue. You were talking to him as his friend and if it is relevant enough to the investigation, I hope the committee finds what they're looking for without fueling the Republican narrative that this whole thing is just a witch hunt. That is what they have to be exceptionally cautious of right now, especially during an election year.